Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Windows Server 2019 VM installation, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're in hosts and clusters, and I'm going to right click on a host and select new virtual machine. We're just going to do a straightforward new virtual machine, we're not going to use templates or wizards or anything else like that. And I'm going to call the machine AD101. It's an Active Directory domain controller using the IP address .101. So I'll just put it on a general data store. We're going to make it ESXi 7 or later, so I'm not too bothered about backward compatibility. We pick the operating system family, Windows, Linux or other. So we'll stick with Windows and the server we're going to install is 2019. There are also some options for virtualization based security and other types of secure boot and EFI. We're not going to do anything with that at this point. We're just going to do a straightforward server 2019 install. So the settings on this screen have been selected for us automatically because of the operating system we, we picked. So we're going to stick it on standard switch 0, VLAN 0. I'm not going to do too much with the video card. It's a server so we don't need any kind of fancy graphics on it. But what we do need is something to boot from to install the operating system. So I'm going to use an ISO file that's stored on an NFS data store. So it's in the ISO directory. And I'm going to use a server 2019 90-day eval ISO. And I also need to make sure that that ISO is connected or appears to be in the CD-ROM drive at PowerOn. So one of the other option that I like to do, because old habits die hard, I like to put a boot delay of 5,000 milliseconds or 5 seconds when the machine boots. This is purely to give me enough time to connect to a remote control session and then press escape or any other command key to get into the BIOS or change a, uh, a setting or to change a boot order. So that 5,000 milliseconds just gives you 5 seconds grace to hit a key during power on if you need to. So the VM's been created, but at this point it's not powered on. It's just a, a machine ready to be installed. We'll click on the power on button. And then as soon as that's powered on, we'll view it again in the web console. So this is the beginning of the Windows Server 2019 install. Now booting from that ISO image we connected in a previous step. So it's going to be installed in English, United States English, but for time and currency I'm going to change that to my local region which is United Kingdom. And it now asks me which version of Windows Server do I want to install, the standard or the data center, and then whether it has a, a fancy desktop on top or whether it's just a plain server. I'm going to go for data center edition with a desktop. So I need to read and agree to the license agreement. And I'm going to do a clean install. This is not an upgrade. It's a, a, a new machine. And we're going to install that on hard drive zero. Or the first hard drive in the system. So Windows is now going to copy files from that ISO image to perform the uh, installation. So we'll skip forward a little bit. We'll not watch it copying all these files. So now everything has been installed and some updates have been done, we're going to finish up the installation. And the machine will now restart. So 
So now the machine is rebooted, we need to add a password for the local administrator. And then in order to log on, I need to press the Control Alt Delete button in the top right hand corner or press Control Alt Insert on my keyboard. The reason that we don't press Control Alt Delete is that we would do a Control Alt Delete on, or on the computer we're sat in front of. Um, so we either do Control Alt Insert or press the Control Alt Delete button to make sure that Control Alt Delete gets sent to the virtual machine, not to the computer you're working from. So this is just a very basic install. We haven't done anything with it yet, but this is the operating system installed out the box, just to demonstrate how we go through that process. In subsequent videos, we'll do more configuration and install things like VMware tools. But for now, that is just a, a straightforward Server 2019 installed on VMware. It's a virtual machine. So that was Windows Server 2019 VM installation, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.